What's up, everybody? As much as I really should just be taking a break um, and get some rest, the problem is I have to pre-record. So I'm right back at it. No sooner than you saw me struggle terribly yesterday, um, just a couple hours later, here I am uh, attempting to do these uh, puzzles again. But again, definitely off my game and uh, not really feeling good at all. But I have to, you know, at least do, do these puzzles. So today uh, we're going to do the wordle, where we do these challenging words to begin the puzzle. Uh, yesterday, yesterday we read Dolly, and we got it in five, which is pretty bad. Today we do MC. Let's pray that there's an E in this thing. That's the only reason you would ever do such a crazy word. Of course there's not, okay? Let's just go to stare is fine. We did have it. We did have stare. So we could just try real quick to think of another similar word that we could use to improve upon. How about trail? It holds a good letter, too. I mean, I know I'm not testing my dreaded S's, but uh, we haven't had trail, I don't think. So were we lucky today? Was this like art's miracle comeback in getting a two? Did we get, did we, did, did we, did we get trail in two? No, all we get is a miserable A. <sighs> um, and of course, now, now, of course, yes, I have to start thinking about those dreaded S traps. You could do something, you could do like spank. You, you could actually, actually, probably shady wouldn't be bad. We did have shade, but I like shady because you're testing two things at the same time. You know, the S and the Y, and I think the H and the D are good letters. The only downside is that I'm only testing one possible letter that could go between the S and the A. It could be the W, it could be the P, it could be the N. Er. In which case, we could be set up for a trap. You know, maybe swank would be a little bit better. Because, see, what I like about swank is that I'm testing three possible things that could go between the S and the A. Of course, this is all contingent upon this beginning with an S, and it might not. So, I don't know. Did we get swank in three? No, but it was a pretty good guess, okay? Let's please try to get a four. Okay, can we just get a four? Um, I mean, it shouldn't be hard to figure out what letter uh, goes in front of that W, right? Actually, I think I have it. I think it's a wash. That actually looks absolutely perfect. I can't think of anything else that would go um, in front. Did we finally do a tiny bit better today and get a wash in four? Yeah, okay. I'm all right with that. <clears throat> I'm totally all right with that. I think Swink was a really good, um, I was really good. But the funny thing is Shady would have been, ended up just as good as well, because my S and H would have been out of position, and I think I would have thrown them at the end, um, but still have to figure out what would go in front, so eh, you never know. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do Fritz, F-R-I-T-Z. It's actually not that bad, um, except for just the Z. Uh, guys, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of uh, Weidel. What's up, everybody? It's time to do strains uh, for Friday, July 26. Go for the gold. So this could, be, I think this is Olympics. Okay, can we please, thank you. Here we go. Finally, yeah. I just immediately thought of the Olympics. Okay, that is phenomenal. Finally, I think I can actually do okay today. You still have to make sure you watch Connections, guys. Yesterday I failed. I think that's one thing you have to admit is something that you look forward to there's some YouTubers out there, and you know they're going to just win every day, okay? And that's great if you like that, and you just love to see their phenomenal genius brain at work every day, day in and day out. That's cool. But you know what's great, I think, about someone like Art and another fellow like Doug, who, by, by the way, I just love watching, is that we fail from time to time, okay? By the way, Doug is an absolutely brilliant guy. If you just listen to the way he talks, I, I think he's just brilliant. I really, I really do. Um, and by the way, we're like of the same generation and we actually solve the puzzles very similarly. Anyway, my point is that uh, I think there's tremendous entertainment value in watching someone who is unpredictable, right? I'm going to have some great days and I'm going to have some flat out horrible days. I'm going to have some close calls and I'm going to have some days where uh, you just never know what's going to happen. And plus you guys know what my blind spots are. But more and more of them tend to creep into the game as time goes on. So uh, I guess my point is, keep watching. 
because you never know what's going to happen when you watch art. And of course, I made a little shout out for my good friend, Duck. Now, what's going to go um, go on here? Because uh, I kind of did that to release a little bit of nervous tension as I actually haven't spotted a single uh, regular theme word. Okay, I haven't spotted a single regular theme word. Swim. Oh, darn it. That's unfortunate. I mean, that's not going to affect getting, you know, the perfect result, but, uh, you know, it's not good to pick up a, a nonsense word. <clears throat> I'm not going to use a hint. I think I, I mean, I still think, think I can get this, but of course, maybe track would be stronger. Okay, good. And then I also have to try to remember there's some, some of these stranger um, sports that are going to be taking place, like breaking. Like, I wonder if breaking's in here. That'd be kind of interesting, but I don't see a B. There's a couple other ones that I remember from a Connections Solve a couple months ago. Okay, anyways, let's try to um, equestrian, okay, equestrian. There we go. Ooh, that's a, that's a tough one, okay. Archery. And um, it's funny, it sort of looks like there's a flamingo hiding in there, but I doubt it. So it wasn't swim. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Of course it's swimming. You're looking for the noun versions of these events, not the not the verb. Is it is it golf? I guess it's golf, and then you'd finish off with karate. Not karat, but karat, but karate. All right, did we karate chop this particular puzzle? Eh, so so, so so. Uh, that I enjoyed much, much more than yesterday's, okay? I thought yesterday's was a little bit of a stink bomb. I thought that sub-genre was a very cheesy um, spangram. This is awesome. And let me know how you guys did. And, of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Strands. What's up, everybody? We failed yesterday. Uh, so disappointing. Unfortunately, I don't have any chance to try to get better uh, because the next couple days are insanely busy. I don't even have any time to... Uh, set up the production for these videos, so I just had to basically do it a couple hours later from when I failed, so get ready, because we might do it again. Fridays are typically the hardest puzzles, so this could be uh, really unfortunate. So we've got uh, liar, con, back, down, loot, right, left, endorse, up, base, champion, support, symbol, minus, ding, and strike. Ugh. Okay, endorse is a little bit more different from these. You can endorse someone, you can back them, you can... champion them, and you can support them. All right. I think that's 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 a good category. Um, this would be to advocate. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, let's try to let's try to do this, guys. Let's try to do this. Um, I mean, up, down, left, right are directional signs. Yeah, I mean, that, that sort of works. I mean, yeah, they are just directional signs. Let's see if the rest would work, if that were the case, and that would obviously be yellow. Loot. Ah, uh, to loot. Hmm. I, I, that's that's good. Ooh, that's tricky. I don't see how we're gonna what we're gonna be able to do with loot. Um, a strike, a ding, minus. Oh, and a con. These are things that are against. So okay, and so that would leave us with. 
Um, so con strike ding minus. So that would leave us with base, liar, symbol, and loot. Huh. Wow. Base, liar, symbol, and loot. Uh, I'm willing to expend a guess on this. Are these just directional signals? Okay. And I'm pretty sure this is good. I was a little nervous about that because that was a little too easy. But yeah, con, a strike, a minus, and a ding. These are, these are things that you uh, use to say that it's against that person. Drawback. Okay, now we just gotta. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna win today, guys. Right? No errors, which is awesome. Let's see if we can uh, f finish off with this last category. I'm having I, I'm having trouble figuring uh, determining if we would have a secret phrase here because loot is really tough to create a uh, a phrase. Could it be what X might mean? To loot, uh, to steal, uh, let's see, what, what what X might mean. So then somehow you'd have a liar and a symbol and a base. Uh, let's see. Of course you could do like baseball. I don't think that works. Liar. Wow, this is a good one. A base, a symbol, a liar, and loot. Oh boy. Um, you know, I can only think of uh, a chronic liar. But loot, what expressions go with loot? Base, symbol, liar, and loot. Huh. I suddenly, I, I don't think it's going to be correct because I can't figure, because it's not quite working with bass. But these sound, sound like homophones for instruments. <gasps> yes, I got it, guys. Oh my gosh, what a comeback. Yes, they are. Bass guitar. The symbol. What would that be? C-Y-M-B-A-L. The liar, I think, is L-Y-R-E. And loot would be L-U-T-E. I think I even spelled them correctly. Guys, I'm sorry. I have to go a little bit over-energized just because I'm feeling like you know what. And uh, to, to finish this off in style, and th that is a tricky category because I was my brain was going all over the place. I have no idea how I got that. But I was just thinking about symbol, liar, and loot. Those all connected for me. I couldn't quite get the bass, but it's so obvious. Of course, it's B-A-S-S, -S, like bass guitar. So these are homophones for musical instruments. Thank you very much. I know it's correct. <laughs> Boom! Kishazzle wazzle! All right. Well, no sooner than Art gets annihilated yesterday, he gets right back up on the horse. And um, yeah, we nailed that. I am absolutely thrilled. Absolutely thrilled, guys. You have no idea. Um, I think a lot of people are going to um, enjoy this puzzle. Um, I think the two trickiest things are going to be yellow and purple. Um, but for different reasons. Yellow because you're going to be tempted to put it in, but tempted to hold back because it, it is so obvious. And then purple, um, yeah, it, it, it's tricky to see that those are homophones. But you guys are very smart. I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that a lot of people will get that. There you have it, guys. Um, art has returned. Now if I can just get better health-wise, then you know maybe I can continue and we'll start a new streak. I hope you enjoyed, and of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.